We're here at Las Vegas Oddities, the weirdest little shop in Las Vegas. This definitely goes along with our search for non-stereotypical Las Vegas things, and I'm super excited to see what they have to offer inside. Let's go. Hi, I'm Vanessa from Las Vegas Oddities, um, owner and proprietor of the weirdest little store in Vegas. Enchanté. tribal birthing chair from Africa. If you look, there is actually protein stains on it from use. You'd sit in it like this uh -huh. because gravity works with you when you're giving birth. So if you're squatting down, things open up better and slide out. This is made out of a solid piece of ebony wood. It weighs about 300 pounds, so it stays here pretty much. The cat head on the end is actually to scare off evil spirits so that the baby isn't possessed at birth. Seems like it would do a pretty good job. Yeah, it's, it's pretty comfortable. You can like kind of sit in it and lounge. Um, my dog likes it. Uh -huh. Read a nice book. Yeah. Have a baby, you know. Yeah, there you go. That's, yeah. that's what you do when you have a baby, right? Yeah. Just plarp and it's out. <laughs> dog seems to want to be in the show. Another fun thing that a lot of people like is uh, we have duckies, but this is a zombie duck. Oh my god. You can see that uh, the humans have tried to fight back, but zombie duck remains Prevails. alive. <laughs> that is adorable. And so do you have an artist who, does, who makes these for you? I actually made that one. I didn't oh, taxidermy wow. it, but I uh, but you made, I zombified him. Yes. I do work with a lot of artists, like local and here in America. I try okay. to minimize the amount of stuff I get from overseas when possible. Right. I'm sure that kind of puts a little iffy. Yeah. I mean, there's it. just some things that aren't made in America anymore. But right. You can get plenty of taxidermy chicks. So what brings you to Vegas? Well, we're here to kind of check out what Las Vegas has to offer besides the typical, you know, downtown strip and yeah. casinos and all that stuff. We want to see the cool stuff that's offered for locals, offered for tourists, offered for anyone who wants to see what's actually like to be in Las Vegas. Uh -huh. And when we saw your store online, we we're like, we have to check this out. <laughs> we knew that you would probably gather a lot of really interesting stuff mm -hmm. from the region and from around the world, like you said. What do you like about she, the shop? She she the media piece. Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's lying, it's and pumpernickel. The, the yes. pet. <laughs> and the stuff. What's your favorite kind of stuff here? What is my favorite kind of the old stuff and the masks? Uh -huh. Cool. The masks are cool. Do you mind if I see? What made you pick this up? I have a lot of African masks. Oh, very cool. I don't think I have too many that are painted. Or something. I mean, the painted is different. Yeah. yeah. This is the most expensive thing in the store. Oh, wow. That is a Mayan death mask from <gasps> second to fourth century AD. It's That's made so out of cool. human bone. Out of. Yep. <laughs> favorite kind of thing to get? Like when someone calls you up and they're like, hey, I think I got something for you. Like, what are you hoping for? I personally collect post-mortem and <laughs> Victorian morning jewelry, post-mortem photography, that is. Morning jewelry? A way to remember people was to take their hair uh -huh. and weave it into intricate jewelry. I don't have any good examples uh -huh. in the store at the moment because most of them go home with me, honestly. Right. <laughs> That would be one of the things I feel like sets an oddity shop apart mm -hmm. from like a new age store or gotcha. your typical antique mall. We do really kind of focus on like the macabre horror yeah. death part of life. Yeah. There's less of the like holistic healing thing here. Mm -hmm. I do collect like medical quackeries and stuff, mm -hmm. which sure. pointedly don't work. The FDA asked that those be destroyed. 
Wow. Um, what they do is you hook them up to a wet pad and attach them to your body yeah. and they shock your muscle into working. Yeah, that sounds very dangerous. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so they have uh, paralyzed and killed people legit um, because it short circuits the part of your muscle that goes, oh, hey, I'm hurting. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, I don't know if you know anything about how the electric chair works, but that's yeah. all about what That's pretty happens. much what it is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we, we're kind of interested in like the funeral side of life. Right, just kind of the creepy, kind of the stuff that just yeah. makes you like feel excited, but also kind of like turned away, but yeah. like you can't stop looking at the same time. Yeah, it's funny yeah. that I think the most controversial things I have in here as far as people get eaten out wanting to leave are clowns, uh -huh. <laughs> then spiders and anything snake related. Yeah, like, that's what and people those are like, more like phobia triggered as opposed yeah. to just a general human. Like, yeah, and there's some people that don't get more than three feet into the store. <laughs> That's great. species of frog in Mexico mm -hmm. and were taxidermied for import in the late 60s, early 70s and became so popular, the frogs started becoming extinct. Mexico started having malaria outbreaks. So the frogs are now illegal for harvest and these taxidermy pieces are just popular vintage gaff taxidermy. Yeah. So. Drinking Corona frogs for the win. But how about kids? Have you found that kids are mostly turned away or do some kids come in here like, yes? We love the kids that yeah. come in here all excited. Like we have this one little boy who'd have been like six. Yeah. He comes in and he's like, like, excuse me, you have yeah. a 1929 pressure valve that does <laughs> da, 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 da. Awesome. And my manager and I were like, it does? We got that in a box with some other stuff. <laughs> and we had this one little British girl that was like all about it. And I'm like, yeah. you know, if you describe what you like in here and like a slow, in your accent, like real slow out on the strip, you'll scare adults. And she was <laughs> yeah, like, scare yes. Adults. Well, and for the kids that get scared, we have stickers and candy mm -hmm. to try to lure them into lure them a in. sense oh, of yes, safety. Because <laughs> fun, true fact, I was the child that was scared of everything. Uh -huh. Like it took me into my late twenties to watch uh, Henson's Dark Crystal again, oh, really? because I, would see the opening credits and have a panic attack. Damn, yeah. <laughs> but I've, I've obviously gotten over that. I think so, it yeah. seems like it. Yeah, I think at some point what scares you can become really empowering. And that is a really that's where the store is kind of awesome. That's awesome. There is though a section of the store, I ask if the kids are under 18, mm -hmm. that like their parents at least give them permission to go into. And it's because as part of a personal collection, I have erotic ivory, uh, they're little statues that are called netsuks from like Japan and China. Uh -huh. And that's in the off. back of the store, which we call the, the seance parlor. Okay, it's like a little cool. set aside room. And we do do like events and like reproduction fake seances sure, in there. Sure. I'm not ever gonna pretend like you will summon the ghost of your pee pop. Right. <laughs> find on your website or anything is there a way that people can order yes. from your website we they don't are have to be in las vegas in the process of trying to get as much up on the web page uh -huh. as possible i think we have 788 items at last count Excellent. there are some laws about what can get shipped where yeah. so if you order a human skull for example mm -hmm. i cannot ship to new york kentucky georgia or louisiana Interesting. Yeah. But for the most part, for the know, most if part, people see yeah. something, they don't have to necessarily yeah. travel to Las Vegas. Indeed. Well, thank you so much for welcoming us into your store. It's an amazing place. It's I love how big it is. I think I noticed on your website, yeah. actually, it's the largest oddity store in the Southwest. Yes. That's awesome. There's so, a couple in the Pacific Northwest uh -huh. give me a run for my money. Yeah. But we need to whip out our tape measures and see what's what. There you go. <laughs> Possibly the largest oddity store in America, but definitely in the Southwest. You should make a visit down here to the Las Vegas.
Vegas oddity store if you find yourself in Las Vegas because there is not a corner of this store that doesn't have something interesting in it. Yeah, what if you say trick or treat? You get some free candy. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> trick or treat? I don't know, it's, it's, it's a pumpkin down there. Oh, do you have like a Facebook page or anything? Yeah, for Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, we are at Odd Las Vegas. Um, you know, feel free to message, it's usually me that answers, and there's a contact form on our webpage if you want to be like, what is wrong with you, period? <laughs> Hi, I'm Papa Nickel, and that is with a P, not an M, so I'm a Nichols with a Pups. I come from Las Vegas's Animal Rescue, which is called the Animal Foundation. I was five years old with really stinky teeth. I have gotten my teeth cleaned. I am doing better now, and I have been altered, which is also good because I had a bucket load of puppies. I am a magical Chewini, and you can see me at Las Vegas Oddities. <laughs>